Hi, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. This is the new EAS Unlock version 3. This is designed to work with the air suspension on the P38A Range Rover. That's usually the model year between 1995 and 2002. The exact model year depends on the uh, country that you're in. Uh, this is designed with a very specific piece of hardware that I manufacture and only I manufacture. It's paired with that with that hardware to communicate with the air suspension computer on the P38A Range Rover. This is designed to replace the older EAS Unlock version 2 which was written back in 2007 by myself and it's also designed to phase out the uh, EAS Buddy hardware that I used to manufacture. So hopefully this will provide the user with a lot more flexibility allow me to update and send a lot more updates towards the user and maybe add some more functionality so you can work with the air suspension. So it's a pretty simple tool to use. It's very similar to my previous tools. You're going to go ahead and plug in the USB hardware that you've, that you've received from RSW Solutions. And uh, you start the ES Unlock version 3 software up. And this is what you'll see. You'll see a software license. Go ahead and read it, please, and agree to it. You'll see down here, once you agree to the license, it will communicate with the hardware device and you'll see the USB status is open and the device ID has been detected. Now, now you'll go ahead and get into your vehicle, start the vehicle engine up, and plug in the EAS Unlock hardware to the P38A Range Rover OBD2 port. Now we're ready to communicate. To start a communication session, usually what people are going to be doing most often is reading and clearing faults on the air suspension computer. There's four basic steps. You'll open communications, and that will power cycle the EAS computer to get the EAS computer into diagnostic mode. You'll hear the dash beep. Now we're in communication mode. Transmit and receive is going on in the background, and we are linked. The next step, you'll usually want to read the faults. Go ahead and read the faults. It takes a few seconds. Here we go, we have four faults on this module. And then you will clear the faults and you'll close the session. And that's it. Right there, you've just completed, you know, in, in less than 30 seconds, the most important functions you can perform with the EAS Unlock version 3 tool on your P38A Range Rover. So that'll usually get you out of any tough situations. The faults may indicate that a repair is required or maybe the faults were just transient and they they won't come back but at this point what I'll usually do is I'll go ahead and power cycle the vehicle I'll shut the vehicle engine off wait you know 60-90 seconds and then start the vehicle back up and maybe check the faults again but uh, one of the interesting functions of this tool also is that a log file was created automatically for you in the background and in that log file will be a recording of these faults and it'll also be dated, today's date. And uh, you simply open up that log file. And there we go. Here is a quick report of the logs that were just recorded. Going back to the software, there's some other functions. You can work with the calibration of the air suspension. Again, calibration is a very complicated function. It's only necessary if a height sensor has been replaced. Uh, but it can also do things like change the stored height profiles on the vehicle if you have larger tires. Uh, some, we won't go into this, we'll quickly go through this real quick. Same basic steps, you'll open communications, there's a power cycle of the EAS computer, your dash will beep. You'll see the transmit and receive lights and a green link light. Um, you'll query each of the individual profiles on the vehicle that you want to modify. And once you have them all queried, then you can make modifications. Let's say for example I want to change this and once you make a modification, you write that modification. Let's say you want to save this profile that you've just read from your vehicle. You can log these to a file, export them to a file, and just as before, when we looked at the log files, there will be a log with these settings inside of them. That will be stored in the uh, defaults log. Inside the defaults log, here we here's a report of those values we just read from the air suspension. Moving on, there's other things like air suspension functions. This is a place for general functions, testing the pump, the transport mode. Uh, I'll also add some functions to test the EAS relay. This is a, a section here to uh, pull and uh, 
display, graph in real time uh, the height sensor values so you can manipulate a height sensor either by uh, you know manually by hand or you can tell the air suspension to go to a certain height and you'll be able to uh, visualize in real time the height sensor data and see if there are any dead spots in your sensor. So that is a quick overview of the EAS Unlock version 3. I hope it comes in handy. I hope it's, it, you'll find it useful. And please see my website for more information. Thanks.